Have you ever wondered how ordinary moments can turn into chilling nightmares that shake entire communities? In the fabric of our everyday lives, there are tales of shocking crimes that leave us baffled and horrified. These stories unveil the unsettling journeys of individuals whose actions change lives forever. From routine encounters gone awry to the gripping dramas of courtrooms, we delve into the human psyche's darkest corners, where the mundane transforms into relentless terror. Join us as we embark on a journey through these haunting stories, exploring the depths of the human experience. In this state, the legislature has empowered the court. I want him back with his wife. I want him back with his little girl. Dante Rashawn Morris. In the scorching summer of 2010, Tampa, Florida, witnessed a reign of terror that left the community paralyzed with fear. Dante Rashawn Morris, a name that would become synonymous with unspeakable violence, embarked on a horrifying murder spree between May and June of that year. His actions plunged the community into a state of shock and disbelief. Among his victims were Derek Anderson and Rodney Jones, their lives tragically cut short in drug-related incidents. But the nightmare didn't end there. Morris's rampage took an even darker turn when he targeted those who had sworn an oath to protect and serve. Two police officers, Jeffrey Kokob and David Curtis, lost their lives while responding to a distress call. Their tragic deaths sent shockwaves through the law enforcement community and left the entire city in mourning. As the wheels of justice began to turn, Morris found himself facing trial for his heinous crimes. Inside the courtroom, the atmosphere was thick with tension and grief as the community sought answers and justice for the lives that had been senselessly taken. Morris's reaction in court was nothing short of dramatic. His demeanor was chillingly icy, as if he harbored the dark secrets of his actions, refusing to let any hint of remorse or guilt surface. The courtroom, filled with family members of the victims and concerned citizens, watched with bated breath as the chilling details of his crimes were laid bare. I mean, who, the, who wouldn't want to beat the out of him, you know, but we have to still be as one. Mark Anthony Gonzalez. In San Antonio, Texas, a horrifying incident unfolded. Mark Anthony Gonzalez, a name that would become synonymous with a terrible crime, was at the heart of this chilling tale. His victim, Sergeant Kenneth Van, was a dedicated officer with 24 years of service in the Bexar County Sheriff's Office, always ready to respond to calls for help. The bullets crashed through the other side of Sergeant Van's patrol vehicle. It rips the entire upper torso of him with a bulletproof vest providing no protection whatsoever. One fateful day, Sergeant Van responded to a shooting call, not knowing it would be his last mission. Mark Anthony Gonzalez drove alongside his patrol car and unleashed a terrifying hail of 46 bullets upon him. Shockingly, 26 of those bullets struck Sergeant Van, ending his life in a brutal attack that left his patrol car riddled with bullet holes. The community was in shock, and witnesses dialed 911 in horror. When he hit that bottom step, he slipped and he fell, and he knocked himself out. This is a well-documented neuropsychiatric phenomenon. As the wheels of justice turned, Gonzalez's attempt to cover his tracks was revealed. Police found an assault rifle at his residence, deliberately altered to disconnect it from the crime. Cell phone records placed Gonzalez at the scene, leaving no doubt about his guilt. In court, the enormity of Gonzalez's crime became evident. Sergeant Van's widow, Yvonne Van, shared her heart-wrenching experience during the victim impact statement, painting a poignant picture of her shattered life. I will never have any more alone time with my husband, and my time now is truly alone in every sense of the word. The jury found Gonzalez guilty of capital murder and recommended the death penalty. As the sentence was passed, Gonzalez remained stoic, a reminder that even in the face of heinous crimes, justice could be served. Humberto Delgado Jr. In Tampa, Florida, a tragic encounter unfolded between Humberto Delgado Jr., a former police officer dealing with chronic knee pain, and Corporal Michael Roberts. 
What started as a routine traffic stop took a shocking turn, leaving a lasting impact on all involved. Corporal Roberts, dedicated to upholding the law and ensuring public safety, approached Delgado during the ordinary traffic stop. Little did he know that this seemingly routine encounter would spiral into a heart-wrenching tragedy. The situation escalated, resulting in Delgado fatally shooting Corporal Roberts. The community was left in disbelief and mourning, grappling with the profound loss of a dedicated officer who had sworn to protect and serve. The routine had turned into a devastating incident that would haunt the city for years to come. As the legal process unfolded, Humberto Delgado Jr. faced the consequences of his horrifying actions in a court of law. The courtroom became a solemn setting, filled with the emotions and grief that permeated the proceedings. Delgado's reaction in court was deeply unsettling, marked by a chilling absence of emotion. It was as though he had disconnected from the gravity of his actions. Amidst this emotional turmoil, the courtroom was also filled with the presence of the victim's families, seeking justice for their loved one's untimely death. But mostly, I want to speak to you. You. You have remained silent, and you are not remorseful. I hope you receive the death penalty, and so does Mike. Just an inmate number, but to many of us, you will just be known as Cop. As the trial progressed, it became abundantly clear that Delgado would be held accountable for his actions. The evidence presented was compelling, and the weight of his guilt hung heavily in the air. The courtroom was a place where justice would be sought for Corporal Roberts, and the community could find a sense of closure. Ultimately, Delgado was found guilty of his crimes, a verdict that highlighted the unwavering pursuit of justice even in the face of a horrifying tragedy. Initially sentenced to death, this punishment was later changed to life imprisonment following an appeal. For the murder of Corporal Michael Roberts, this court sentences, sentences you to be put to death in the manner prescribed by law. Ashford Thompson. In Twinsburg, Ohio, an everyday traffic stop took a terrifying turn, and at the center of this harrowing tale was Ashford Thompson. His actions sent shockwaves through the community and left a lasting mark. Officer Josh McTarian, committed to the safety of his community, pulled over Thompson's vehicle on what should have been an uneventful day. But what unfolded was beyond anyone's worst expectations. As Officer McTarian approached Thompson's car, an unexpected act of violence shook everyone. Thompson, without warning, fired his weapon, not once, not twice, but four times, directly at Officer McTarian's head. Thompson's reaction in court mirrored the dramatic events of that tragic day. The courtroom became a stage where emotions ran deep. The faces of the victims' families were etched with grief as they sought answers and justice for their loved one's unjust loss. And then you bent over and you shot him again and again and again. You put the gun on his head. That's disgusting. Who does that? Thompson's apology delivered against the backdrop of the profound pain he had caused was a moment that left the courtroom in a state of deep reflection and sorrow. See me with a straight face is not because I just have no feeling or I just, I just hate people. I'm just a kind of cold-blooded killer. As the trial progressed, the evidence against Thompson painted a damning picture of his guilt. It was clear that he would have to face the consequences of his shocking actions. In the end, the court rendered its judgment. Thompson was found guilty of aggravated murder, a crime that had shaken the community to its core. The gravity of his actions demanded the most severe penalty, and he was sentenced to death. The trial of Ashford Thompson stands as a stark reminder of the consequences of violence and the relentless pursuit of justice, even in the face of the most shocking of actions. It is a chapter in the annals of criminal justice that serves as a testament to the resilience of communities in the face of unthinkable tragedy. These cases showcase the shocking crimes committed by cop killers and their varying reactions to the sentences handed down by the court. Each story reveals the devastating impact of such crimes on the victims' families and the justice system's response to these heinous acts.